From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colberth. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. You're taking a live look at Yakima from Tanum Ridge and can't really see Yakima right now because there is so much smoke and haze. And technically, if you look at the air quality data, the air quality is good to moderate, but does it look good to moderate? So I'll just let you be the judge of that. If you're in one of those sensitive groups this morning, I would err on the side of caution and sport in N95 masks. Temperatures this morning in the 50s and 60s. Some of us might need a light jacket a little bit later today. It's going to be one of the coolest days we've had in quite some time. We'll have highs that will be about 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be trumped at least uh, in, in terms of what the biggest story is for today. That's going to be trumped by the smoke and the haze with the thickest of the smoke and haze being in the Yakima Valley. Also winds today gusting out of the northwest to southwest between 20 to 35 miles per hour, the fastest wind gust being in the Kittitas Valley. And then for tonight, the winds will continue to gust between 20 to 25 miles per hour for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys, but elsewhere the winds should be much calmer. Still more haze and smoke, and those northwesterly winds will continue to bring a lot of that thickish smoke and haze right into the Yakima Valley. Okay, we'll have another below average day in terms of high temperatures for Friday and then some more seasonal weather in a Saturday and Sunday. That's just going to keep up into next week. Also, we're tracking the return of some thunderstorm chances in the Sunday and beyond. It looks like Tuesday is probably going to be the most active of those days. It doesn't look like the water follies are going to be impacted by this, but we are going to track the potential for fire starts throughout that entire ordeal. It's the seven day forecast for the Tri Cities. We'll be comfy with 80s for Thursday and Friday, more seasonal for this weekend, and then that little shower chance for Tuesday. For Yakima, terrible air quality for the short term at least, near 90 for this weekend, and then thunderstorm chances for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For Hermiston, we'll be hazy for the next couple of days, a little shower chance on Tuesday, otherwise sunny and seasonal from Saturday and beyond. And then for Walla Walla, we'll be in the 80s through Sunday, Hitting 90 again by Monday and watching the lightning potential for Tuesday and Wednesday.